Hey everybody, I'm Michelle with Brave Bloom, and finally, I'm sorry it's taken me a while, we're gonna talk about this bag that I recently got for myself, um, the sling bag. It's a 9710 sling bag. I will drop a catalog photo. I know I showed this to you in the other video, but I'll drop a catalog photo here. And yeah, this is a bag that was on my radar for a very long time, over a year. And I only recently got one and I got one at a great price. I was willing to spend a lot more on it for a different color. Um, and that slipped out of my hands. It was purchased before I could purchase it. And regrets, 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 but no regrets on getting this bag. So let's talk about it a little bit. First, I'm gonna, um, I want you to see how she, she's fully rehabbed now. And I want you to see how she looks. And I'm gonna show you a photo or um, maybe a little video here of how she was when I opened the box. And she wasn't bad, she wasn't in bad condition, but um, yeah, uh, she is much better now. I mean, there's no stuffing in this bag. She is fully formed now. And I did not have to do anything, but I'll tell you the products I used. I used Brasso to clean the turn lock. Um, I removed all the hardware and um, I cleaned it that with the other turn lock. And I, um, I tend to use sunshine cloths on the beads because I use sunshine cloths on the zipper zippers as well, even on the inside of a bag. Um, so I cleaned the zipper with a sunshine cloth. I dunked this bag. I did dunk it. Um, everything seemed pretty sturdy with it. The stitching and everything, it just, it was in really good condition. So I dunked it with um, Lexol um, soap. It's a liquid soap that I put in the back. Okay. It's a leather soap. And, and then after um, washing it and then and I use a, a brush, a soft brush to wash thoroughly. And then rinsing thoroughly, I um, stuffed it. And I stuffed for about 12 hours, depending on the bag. I might not have stuffed as long, but basically just long enough for the shape to be able to hold. It will still hold when it's wet. Um, but I stuffed to form to get the shape I want. And then I'll remove that. And that's usually the point that I start conditioning, doing my first um, conditioning uh, coat. And I only had to condition this bag twice. And I used leather CPR conditioner, which is one of my favorites for dark bags. Um, I didn't always use that, but it is a current favorite. I love that stuff. So that's what I use. And I only used two. I didn't have to put anything extra on piping. I don't know if y'all recalled seeing that. That was probably the worst part. It was pretty dry. Um, No, what is going on here? It's not, you're not really able to appreciate. It's not dry now though. You're just gonna have to trust me. It's in amazing condition. This bag is beautiful. So yeah, two coats of conditioner, which I think I did both while the bag was wet, um, or at least, you know, had dri dried about 12 hours and then uh, another one while it was still wet. This bag took a little longer to dry for its size. Um, and that's just because the New York City leather it tends to be thicker and more dense. And so it does hold water for a little longer. So expect it to take a little longer. And I always rotate. Here's a picture. Let me show a picture um, of how one of the rotations was with the bag drying. If you notice, I was very careful with how I had the straps. Um, I worry about these straps weakening. So when I store this bag and whatnot, I am going to make sure that the strap is not ever being stored like that. Okay. So always kind of coming in and I'm just very careful with how the strap is because I, I want to preserve the entirety of this bag. Okay. So this would be a weakened point if you just kind of let the strap do whatever. So anyways, I made sure it was dried with the straps always in. Um, and there was no tension on them. Um, but yeah, that's a pick with the clean hardware, the hardware that I already cleaned in front of it. 
But here, let me show you pick up the dirty hardware. This is after I had removed the hardware, this is kind of what it looked like prior to me cleaning it. Um, because this bag is so old, it was just tarnished, um, evenly patinaed, honestly, but there was verdigris, so cleaned all that off, and, and all it took was a Q-tip and some Brasso, right? So, um, yeah, beautiful, right? I love it. So a couple things with this. First, I wanted to say this was, you know, this had a Creed, that New York City Creed, um, again, 9710 sling bag. However, I discovered that this bag prior to um, Creed, so if you see one when it just has maybe a coach stamp, maybe there's a, a metal coach tag in it, um, you know, inside it's kind of like stuck into the leather. That was actually called, same bag, but it was called um, a dinky pouch at one point. 9390 was the style number, which got assigned to another bag. And this is normal for early on coach. Um, but yeah, it was a 9390 dinky pouch prior to Creed. So, and I have seen one of those for sale. It's actually, I think, currently for sale. It's very expensive, but you know, these bags are a little pricey, so they're rare. Um, but yeah, okay. Interesting little tip. A couple things on this bag. I've already used it. And what I wasn't liking at first um, was that it wasn't easy. Well, here's what it looks like inside. Not that big. Um, it wasn't really, well, now it's, look at that. It's fine right now. I was having some issues with um, feeling like I couldn't lock it. Let me see if I do. Oh my gosh, I can do it just fine now. This is ridiculous, but I was having issues. So let's just say if you have that, maybe your bag's a little softer, maybe um, it's not quite as formed. And I don't know, have you ever had that issue where you're like, I don't like this bag because I feel like I have to like push into it. I have to do something funky. It doesn't just close easily. I have a solution for you. For this particular one, I like to put my chunky pouch. I'm sorry, this is a chunky case one of my most used small luxury good leather items. Um, it is a vintage coach. So I put that in there and then I'm gonna just show you what I put in there. This is one of my favorite wallets. Excuse me, this is a, um, it's called a multi-function purse actually. Weird, but it's a wallet. Um, so I put that in there. Oh, where is my little key? Oh, here, another favorite of mine is a little key wallet. Um, I'm going to go over some of my favorite small luxury um, vintage coach items, small luxury goods, vintage coach items, and then maybe not even the ones that I have in my own personal collection, but that I appreciate and that I like and that I buy to resell. But anyway, excuse me, I will put that in there. And it, it just made it, you know, I don't know easier to close at the time. I don't know. Maybe I took it out too early. Maybe it was still wet. I was super excited. It's hard to tell. So here she is on. So far, I have not taken her out when I've been dressed down like this. Sorry. I just, I just can't right now. I don't feel like getting dressed up for this video. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have done it, but I needed to get it done. Um, but I would. I would totally take this out just with, like, a jeans and t-shirt. I am obsessed with this bag. I think it is so cute. I adore the strap. I adore... I love how the little hang tag is on this buckle. This is the only place it can go on this bag because, at least for the length of ball chain that came with it, again, this is original to it, um, it wouldn't go around this thick strap. So this is really the only place for it, or unless you put it inside. But no, I like to wear mine on the outside. And I think that's cute. I think that just that small little buckle there is cute. I love the strap. I love this thick strap that just wraps around the bag. That's part of the bag. And yeah, totally love it. So I, yeah, this is staying in my collection. It's kind of like the perfect mix 
for me between like an ergo and a pocket purse and a dinky, um, all bags that I love and adore and I adore the look of them, but I don't have any in my personal collection. This bag encompasses all of that for me and I'm so happy to have it. So yeah. Yep. And there you go. Well, I hope you like this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more Vintage Coach bag talk. I also like to go over some rehab videos and I know I talked a little bit about how I rehab this. I plan on doing a lot more of that. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel if you're interested in that type of content. Appreciate you liking. I appreciate you commenting. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye.